Good afternoon, my name is Darren Simons. I'm the superintendent responsible for the Community Policing Division. Today I'm here to share with the public what our next step in evidence gathering is. Essentially, we're going to be talking about a little bit about tasers, but primarily about um, body cameras. So in terms of a little bit of a history and a little bit of a context, around 2010, we uh, purchased this, uh, this taser. Now this taser um, came equipped with a uh, camera on it. So the moment the officer drew the taser out of their holster and um, activated the camera, the camera was recording uh, audio and video wherever the taser or the direction that the taser was um, pointed. Now there's some obvious benefits um, in terms of that, in terms of um, transparency and accountability, but the downside is you're only going to be able to capture the uh, video of uh, where, where the taser is pointed. So we kind of fast forward a little bit to 2012, our next iteration of uh, the use of taser. We purchased tasers that uh, did not have the cameras attached to them and officers had a video camera mounted on the side of their, uh, of their glasses. Uh, we saw the immediate benefits of that in that the use of the camera was not directly related to the use of the taser. So officers could turn the camera on and off at will according to the situations that they were faced with. Um, so when we uh, progressed to where we are now, after having reviewed a couple of different uh, types of body-worn cameras, we're at this, at this stage where we, where we are now. So the Bermuda Police has, has purchased a number of these units. It's uh, from Taser. It's called the, uh, the Axon uh, body camera. And generally speaking, uh, all patrol officers, uh, when they're working, will be issued with this uh, body cam. Um, certainly all uh, officers that have tasers will have a, a body cam. Just in terms of, um, in terms of numbers, uh, our initial purchase uh, is around 117 units. The cost is approximately $58,000, which represents a, for that volume, represents a $12,000 savings over the um, previous models. Now, without a doubt, you would have heard in the news that other organizations, policing organizations, law enforcement organizations, are considering or have adopted uh, the use of body-mounted cameras. It increases transparency, accountability. Hopefully, those two factors are going to raise public confidence and ultimately will make help to contribute to making Bermuda uh, safer. Um, there's a number of technical aspects to the camera, which I'm going to ask uh, my colleagues to generally run you through. But are there any kind of issues or concerns that uh, you might have or questions around uh, the body cameras? My question is, what benefits would it help your department? I think just, uh, again, sort of in increased um, transparency and accountability, the ability to gather evidence at the scene for offense encounters that are occurring, or just encounters generally um, that are occurring at the moment. <coughs> We're recording live what's going on. And uh, let's not forget the, um, the impact that telling somebody, hey, I'm recording this, has on people's behavior. There's nothing like accountability all around mm -hmm to uh, help people moderate or adjust their behavior um, accordingly. So I think there's, there's the uh, immediate impact on the scene in terms of people's behaviors, and there's clearly the evidential um, component on the back end of that. Um, you'll hear uh, a little bit about that the, this is a very secure network. So the, the officers will come back from duty, they'll put the camera in a docking station, and that footage is uploaded up to the cloud. Um, in a very secure way that is, if anything was done to modify the files, it becomes clearly evident uh, with, you know, the latest sort of hash marking file, hash marking uh, technology. Any issue of privacy here with, with the people you're, you're shooting? Uh, I think, you, 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 generally speaking, these cameras are going to be used out of the public in, in, in normal offense encounters. So there are cameras all around us, so the same privacy issues that may or may not exist in that context would exist in the use of um, uh, the, the body-worn cameras. So, but, but, but generally, the answer to that is, is no. Uh, are the cameras constantly capturing, or is it that they have to be activated by the officer? Okay, so they're on a 30-second uh, rolling loop. So the cameras are constantly recording 
and preserving 30 seconds worth of what's happening, but that's just the video. The officer has to activate the device, which then turns on the audio and preserves from that from the previous 30 seconds, the footage that was captured. Obviously, the audio is only going to kick in the moment the officer taps the button. And the general uh, information that, that we're giving officers is certainly whenever they're deploying or considering deploying a taser, they must absolutely turn it on. But we're encouraging officers to use the uh, to, you know, to use the camera to turn it on whenever they have in fence encounters at any at, you know at any point in time. There's no like don't use it in these particular mm -hmm. circumstances. It's really the emphasis on encouraging uh, officers to use the camera. The beauty part about the 30 second piece is that uh, something could have transpired or the officer could be engaged before he or she has time to turn it on. But by tapping the button, you know they preserve that previous 30 seconds. Have there been any trends? Um which have led to this, such as increased um, abuse towards officers, for example? No, there's been nothing that's been specifically a driver from this uh, in Bermuda. It's certainly a, a, you know, the trend towards accountability. You'll even recall President Obama called for officers, all officers, to be equipped with body cameras. So just, you know, in the context of being more accountable, gathering the best evidence that we can, these are the decisions that, that we're making. And Bermuda is, is definitely um, out in front of the vast majority of police services. Uh, I think the uh, Metropolitan Police have just made a decision to purchase this, and maybe some of the larger uh, police uh, forces in the United States um, have made this move. Good afternoon, ladies and gents. Uh, I'm PC Prime McNabb. Yes, sir. Um, deployment. Deployment is due Friday, this Friday, um, Friday morning. All the cameras will be out in the stations by end of play Wednesday, um, midday Thursday, and Friday morning they'll be out on patrol. All of my Halloween hooligans, they'll be recorded this year. What we tried to do is to get it out before Halloween. There's a Halloween operational order, a lot of police officers working, so we thought the best time to get it out would be before that. Tell us about the technical side of these cameras. Um, the camera comes as a self-contained unit. That's it. And it comes with a clip. And it basically just clips on the officer's body armour. And it's now ready to go. All the officer has to do is flick the big switch at the beginning. And within 30 seconds it goes into that 30 second loop that the ACOP was talking about. Once it's in that ACOP, uh, that 30 second loop, it continues on that 30 second loop until the officer double clicks the button in the centre and now it's recording audio and video. As soon as the officer decides they're finished with the encounter, all they do is hold the button down for three seconds and the machine tells you it's switched off. It then immediately reverts to the 30 second loop and the officer can go on about their duty. And also you, you showed the, uh, the Bluetooth um, connecting where it can be connected with your, <coughs> your cell phone and your officer, your, your, your colleague could possibly have your cell phone monitoring the whole operation. Yeah, there's a, evidence.com is the iCloud that it goes to. Yeah, basically, it's a secure web server that everything uploads. But evidence, they, Taser International themselves, recognise that they need some form of way of the officer on the ground mm -hmm. to actually look and see whether that evidence itself is of any value. Mm -hmm. If it's not of any value, they're not going to keep it. So the officer can pair it with an app called Axon, um, Axon Mobile, and they can look at the videos, but they cannot alter, change, or delete anything from their cell phone. How about nighttime photography? Would it be too good? The actual camera itself is designed to match a human eye as close as possible. So if you see a dark shadow at night, then the camera will see a dark shadow at night. And that comes from reflections from court cases in the US, where officers were claiming they saw ABC, and the camera was showing something totally different. Yeah. So they've now dulled the resolution down so that what you say you saw should be what the camera has recorded. What's the life expectancy of these cameras? I mean, do they have a recommended period before they have to be retired? We have purchased a two-year extended warranty, so there's three-year warranty on them. Um, if they break at any of that time, Taser will just replace the camera. Beyond that, they're solid state, so Provided the officer doesn't bounce it around the floor, they should last for quite some time. I don't know if it's you or Mrs. Simons, but what has the reaction been like from officers in regards to this implementation? A lot of officers during the training um, thought it was a very good idea. 
The, moreover, they're looking at the interactions with members of the public where they become a little bit irate. Mm. By telling that person you're being audio and video recorded, it brings their attitude down and allows the officer to do their job without having to get physical. Mm. So your, expert, your expert opinion is a win-win for you and the person that you're dealing with? Without a doubt. Members of the public, it's a win-win for the whole community, I think. Not only can we be accountable for our own actions when we're out in the street, but people now have to take responsibility because we have a video of exactly how they treated us. And just to confirm, the officer has no capability of erasing footage? No, they can't erase the footage because it's solid state. And as Mr. Simon says, they come back to the station, they plug the video in and everything is automatic. It'll send all the videos up to the cloud, it'll delete all the videos from the camera and then it will charge the camera. And once there's only a limited number of officers within the service, that have access to evidence.com. Yeah, but again, we can't alter change. All we can do is edit clips. The legislation has been amended, or is it a legislative? Because you'll be perhaps in, um, introducing this in court, so it's already it's fine. It's yeah, fine. videos from the original taser cams, videos from the Axon Flex that the um, unresponded vehicles officers have been carrying have all been through both courts here and there's been no issues with it.